Greetings, everybody. My name is Tech G, and I want to welcome you all to my CompTIA A Plus Core 2 course for exam number 2201102. And the information I will be presenting in this course is going to give you everything you need to know to successfully pass the CompTIA A Plus 2201102 examination, assuming you study properly. So the CompTIA A Plus certification, this is an entry level computer certification for PC computer computer service technicians. And this exam is designed to certify the competency of entry-level PC computer service professionals in installing, maintaining, customizing, and operating personal computers. Let's talk about some of the skills that you are going to learn. So the CompTIA A Plus 220 1102 exam will focus on four primary areas of study, which are also known as domains. You have domain one, which is operating systems. And this is going to make up 31% of the exam. And this domain will focus on the installation and support of Windows operating systems, including command line and client support. And this domain will focus on system configuration imaging and troubleshooting for Mac, Chrome OS, Android, and Linux operating systems. You have domain two, which is security, and this makes up 25% of the exam. And this domain will focus on identifying and protecting against security vulnerabilities for devices and their network connections. So you have domain three. This will focus on software troubleshooting, and this will make up 22% of the exam. And this domain will focus on troubleshooting PC and mobile device issues, including common operating systems, malware, and security issues. And then we have domain four, which is operational procedures, and this makes up 22% of the exam. And this domain will focus on best practices for safety, environmental impact, and communication and professionalism. All right, so let's talk about the CompTIA A plus 220 1102 exam details. So the 1102 exam, this is the latest and greatest exam version, and this was launched in April 2022. And at the time of this recording, CompTIA has not scheduled a retirement date for this exam, but normally three years after the launch of an exam is when you can expect for that exam to be officially retired. So they can begin introducing the latest version. This exam has a maximum of 90 questions and the questions are presented in multiple choice format, drag and drop questions and performance based questions. You will also have a 90 minute time limit to complete the exam. And in order to pass the 2201102 exam, you will need to score 700 points out of a possible 900 points. Now it is recommended by CompTIA that a candidate have at least nine to 12 months of hands-on experience in the lab or field prior to doing this exam, but based on my professional experience of teaching these certifications for about seven years at the time of this recording, I have successfully taught literally hundreds of people with zero experience on how to successfully pass this exam. So you could just totally throw that bullet point out the window. Also, the exam is available in English, German, Japanese, Portuguese, Thai, and Spanish. Pearson View Testing Centers, this is the company responsible for administering the exam. And the cost of the comp CompTIA A plus 220 1102 exam at the time of this recording is $246 USD. Now here's some additional information about the CompTIA A plus exam. So understand that the CompTIA A plus certification is a two part exam. That means you must pass both the 220 1101, which is the hardware test, and the 220 1102, which is the software test, in order to be awarded CompTIA's A plus certification. Now, you could take either test in any order and you can schedule the exams days, weeks, or months apart if you like. Meaning, if you take the 220 1101 exam on January 1st and you take the 220 1102 exam on December 1st of the same year, so as long as you pass both exams, you will be awarded the CompTIA A plus certification and the certification will go into effect the day you pass the second exam. 